Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube. My name is Jasmine and today I am going to... <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and today I'm going to share with you guys. No, I'm going to share. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and I'm going to share my Notion dashboard with you guys. So I'm really excited to share this dashboard with you guys because I just finished it. What I really needed to have was my YouTube content section and also my Emporium of Magic small business that I plan on relaunching very soon. My timing has been off with pretty much everything and I feel like it's because I didn't have my Notion set up to how I really wanted it to be. I was using it for my YouTube content, but because I want to change things up a bit, I just wanted to revamp it, scratch it out, and just start over. And for my small business, I plan on relaunching very soon. So in order for me to get all my ideas all organized, I needed to have this all set up for me so I wouldn't be all scrambled with all of my ideas with like content creation, with all the designs, with things I needed to get printed, and marketing techniques that I needed to implement for the business. If you don't know what Notion is, it's an application where you can use to organize your workspace, all your ideas, and you can have a team to look at your Notion board and everyone can kind of work together using Notion. What I really like about Notion is that you can decorate it and design it to your liking. So you can change up the theme whenever you want and you can share that template with other people so they can have the same one that you have. This video is not sponsored in any way. I just love Notion so much and I know you guys will too once you kind of get an idea of how to use it. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just, I just have to show you guys my Notion dashboard. Hopefully you guys will love Notion too and could use it to help you keep organized with whatever you need to get organized with. Okay, so this is my dashboard. I decided to go with a cafe type of theme because when I go on my dashboard, I want to feel relaxed and not too overwhelmed because I'm not gonna lie, I get overwhelmed very easily. So I tried to make this dashboard clean and... Okay, so I decided to call this the Delightful Cafe because I had no idea what to call it. And I guess my persona is called um, the Delightful Witch. So I thought it was kind of cute if I just named it the Delightful Cafe. So on the left side, I put my word of the year, which is forward. And I found this really cute coffee gift that kind of just matched the entire theme. So I just wanted to put it in there and just looking at it makes me so relaxed. And under that, I put some notes. Sometimes I just like to kind of like talk to myself when I need that like girlfriend to kind of push me to do what I need to do, to just remind myself that I need to focus take a breath, take it slow, and just break things down because you got this. So on the right side of all of that cute stuff is a little weather widget that I was able to get from indify.co. And under that is my little section for entrepreneur in life, um, which is where I'm, was my most important part of the entire Notion thing because I just, I needed to get all my ideas down. Um, so, this Jazzy Life is my YouTube and Emporium of Magic is my business. So we'll click into that after I show you the rest of my dashboard. As you scroll down, you can see that I have a calendar and I put this calendar everywhere. What I love about the calendar is that you can search certain tags and it will just only show you those tags in the calendar so this is like personal and I haven't really filled it out because I literally just finished my notion <laughs> but I really cannot wait to start putting everything in there because I have so much on my mind and on the left side is my personal monthly goals I wanted to remind myself what I wanted to do this year or this month actually this section right here the delightful planner um, they're all the same calendar it's just a different type of view um, so I have this view right here as a table view. I have the actual calendar view because I like looking at the monthly calendars. And I also have it as, as a day view. And over here, I have pretty much a weekly planner. But the idea was that I would plan my week and 
look at this calendar, put it in there, and yeah. I really love planning, so th this is why I kind of made it really detailed to break down everything I need to do. Let's go all the way up. So let's go into this jazzy life and see how that looks like. When I click on it, a page pops up and I want to see it as an open as a page because right now it's just showing me um, like a small version. Okay, so this is this Jazzy Life's YouTube channel content creation page. <laughs> um, this image right here <laughs> made me feel like it's kind of like youtube -y, so I just had to use it as a thumbnail. And over here is my YouTube bio. To kind of remind myself, like these are the things that you need to talk about. Which by the way, I do need to change because like I said, I'm changing my content up for my YouTube. Um, but if you guys seriously love the self-development and everything, please let me know because I felt like every time I did a video, I wasn't really sure if a lot of people were actually interested in hearing those things. And I get it, sometimes it's overwhelming. So I wanted to implement other ideas and I still will do self-development um, because that's something I'm going through and I just want to share my journey about how I am trying to improve my life and trying to make it more intentional. So this section right here are the topics that I wanted to mention on my YouTube channel, which is organization and planning, small business, self-development, and self-care. So every time I think of an idea, I would just write it down. And, and when I'm ready to write out the script, I would go to this area where it says template, create a duplicate file of that, click into it and it becomes a page. And I would choose what topic I would be talking about over here. And if it's a banger or a filler. <laughs> um, and these are all the information that I need for that content. So I would come up with other title ideas and see which one fits best after I write the script. I would write down some of my thumbnail ideas and have an opener, my talking points, any other additional notes, call to action and outro, my shot list, and also my b-roll. And of course, my script. So for my script, I obviously just write everything out. Um, what I usually do is after I finish putting everything there, I would print this out and start writing more notes on it because I like using notes on a piece of paper. It just helps me keep organized. But let's say I finish that and I just want to tell myself, hey, I finished writing my script. I need to video and do the photos. But there are some times where I'm just like, dude, I have all these ideas. I just want to write all these scripts down and I will just kind of just pile it up. And then so after I do the videoing and photos, I would schedule it and kind of just set it and forget it kind of a thing. But yeah. Um, that's what this little section is for. So the calendar that we saw before, this is the same calendar. Um, I put it everywhere because then I can see it and I don't need to go back and forth if I needed to add something into the calendar. So that is pretty much my YouTube section on my Notion. Let's look at my small business one. So I'm back on my dashboard and I'm gonna go click on Emporium of Magic. So it's showing me a small page and we want to open it up to see everything um, full view. So here I have the little image for my thumbnail and then my shop's mission, my core values, and a little quote that I really like that I saw online. So this area is kind of just to remind myself, you know, this is what you need to focus on for your business and make sure you don't forget it kind of a thing. I wanted to include a guide section where it's kind of like brand identity, where it would help me figure out, you know, these are the fonts that you need to use. These are the only colors and language and all of that stuff. So I haven't set that up yet, but I put it there to remind myself that I need to get that done. 
I also need a section for my newsletters. When I send out newsletters, I need to know what is the purpose and just have that in order for my subscribers and also partnership. So under that is goal in a month view. So let's go into July. And in each month, it will have three goals and a weekly planning section. So what I really love about this is when you click on the weekly planning week one, it's like a toggle. So you click on the arrow and I organized it even more. <laughs> um, I have a little section for my memo priorities to do and pretty much the three things that I need to do for that day. I don't want to put more than three things because that's when I start getting overwhelmed and I need to start planning my days better to know that I don't have all the time in the world and this is what I need to get done or else it just never gets done. And I know I'm a perfectionist and I'm trying to fix that. Yeah, so pretty much week two, week three, it's all the same. So with this monthly section, this is where I kind of plan ahead. Like for example, I saw online that a lot of people already for July are releasing their Halloween items. Um, does that mean that I should have worked on my Halloween items a month before? Or should I start working on it in August because I'm releasing my shop in July? So I need to write all of this down. And when I see everything like, right here it's like okay October is in a few months I need some time to design new items order it and make sure everything looks good so all the products are just good to go um, even for the new year or for Christmas this is why I really needed to get all of this out because my mind can't handle all of that and I think that's the same for everyone else you can't remember all the things that you're thinking about so when you guys come up with a good idea make sure you write it down because for sure you're not going to remember it the next day in detail so when you scroll down it's the same calendar yeah i'm such a huge calendar person i love looking at it monthly daily and weekly so that's pretty much it for my Emporium of Magic uh, small business that I'm going to be relaunching. Well, I hope you guys really liked my Notion dashboard tour. Leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of templates you guys would love to see or use because I had so much fun creating this and I cannot wait to create more and provide you guys some templates that will help you guys out for a more intentional life. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys next week and have a lovely weekend. Bye.